So the first tip we're going to look at is spectator mode. Spectator mode is a really cool feature in Black Desert Online that I haven't really seen in other MMOs. Uh, it's pretty much the ability to, to quote unquote spectate. Uh, in order to do that, what you got to do is walk up to any ground that is kind of what I call sitable, which is essentially anything that comes up to your butt. Uh, you can do benches, you can do bleachers, etc. There's plenty of them all over the world. But in this particular example, you can kind of see this this rock that's in front of me that kind of comes up to my butt. In order to uh, kind of do the spectator mode, back up to it and hit Q, and your character will automatically sit down. And then as soon as you sit down, you'll see that the spectator option shows up top. So hit the R up button and you can detach from your screen and move around your camera is now completely free you can go up down over etc and you can get some really cool act shots action shots or you can also do a screenshot of your character if you want just hit control u and you get a little screenshot option overall it's a very minor thing you're not getting any other benefit you're still vulnerable um, but it's a really cool tip a really cool feature in black desert The next tip I can give you about Black Desert is how important armor is. In this game, unlike other games like for example in WoW where you might get a drop for plus 10 defense, then at level you know 10 you might get a drop for plus 20 and at level 50 you might get a drop for plus 30. In Black Desert all the drops you get are base stats, meaning if you get a drop it's all going to start off at the lowest possible number. Uh, for majority of the armor, with the exception of I think uh, Taratus, which is one of the armor, it all starts off at really low numbers. The trick to it to actually increase that level is to use Blackstones to increase it up to a certain point. Plus 15 is usually where people like to keep it at. At that point, you actually get a pretty high defense rating and attack rating. In this game, the difference between 32 defense and six defense is huge it's not like other games and then the other tip for it is the only big difference between armors are the benefits you get from each set so there's different sets are beneficial to different classes so you got you need to find out which which set is beneficial for your class next tip is I know the uh, the auto pathing is pretty useful but don't rely on it too much um, you know take the path less traveled and the reason I say that is if you look at this map I need to go here. This is where my endpoint is. But you can see that because of auto pathing, it's taking me all the way around there. So in this game, auto pathing really does not cover even remotely the shortest path. If I move closer, look, all of a sudden, it becomes you know this much closer to my final destination. So if I move up here, all of a sudden it is this whole loop, cross over here, and it's this short loop. So don't rely on the auto pathing. Again, try to do manual running, and you'll get your uh, you know to your destination a lot faster than auto running. The next tip that I want to give is to join a guild, no matter how big or how small the guild is. Even if it's just a couple of your friends getting together and creating a guild, join a guild. And the reason why we do that is if you click on here, uh, the guild roster, you see these little check marks. And what it, what these check marks are, are guild quests. So the guild can actually give you quests, uh, they're called guild contracts, so to speak. And what it does is, if you complete those contracts, you get you get money. So my contract is small, and it's only one day, so I get thirty thousand. So which is a really small amount, but my contract, all I had to do is really not that much. So if I do have it, all I had to do is do this contract, and I get thirty thousand silver. You can get a bigger contract that is, you know, you had to be more active, and you have a bigger payout. Uh, you can do a longer contract, a couple of days long, and you can pretty much get about, I think, like a million plus uh, if you do these guild contracts. And not only that. When you do the guild, when you're joining a guild, um, you do guild quests, and these guild quests not only gives you money and drops and loot and all that, um, it also helps you level up. So instead of just beating on a mob mindlessly, if you're in a guild, you can pick up a guild quest for those mobs, and then as you're beating up those mobs mindlessly, you're helping your guild out, and not only that, you're completing your contract, so you can actually collect more money. Disappears again. Okay. Oh, tag disappears. And this is actually uh, in real 
crouch which does not mean that has the name tag disappear if if anybody else crouches they themselves will have their name tag disappear as well why is it useful well in gvg if you crouch let's say behind these 